here is the re re review of Transformers Studio Series 86, number 8, Sharkicon Na. Now, for, first off, before we get into this figure, for, for those of you who don't know what the Studio Series are, that they, they, they make the tr Transformers characters that are a lot more m m movie accurate. Like from from the live action movies, from my, my Michael Bay, and also in the B B Bumblebee movie that came out in two thousand eighteen, and also from the nineteen eighty six Transformers. The the, the movie. And this character is in the 1986 Transformers the, 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 the movie. So as you can see Nah, here is like you, you can already see a Sharkicon, and it it looks like how it does in the 1986 Transformers the the, the movie, and also in like. In both season three and season four of of the animated car, ca cartoon, it 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 does have I'm assuming that that this is supposed to be like a like a yellowish greenish paint for his eyes here. I, I, I think that 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 is what, what they're called. But but he does have have a little bit of red paint here and also some more red paint on the bottom jaw here along with with some more of that yellowish green on the bottom here. And does have some blue paint on the, these things here. And my, my, my only problem with him in in Sharkicon mode is you, you can clearly see that the, these are going to be his ro ro robot mode feet here. I, I wish that, that they would figure out a way to, to cover up these 
robot mode feed here. And you can also see his lags here, which are these pink things here on b both sides. And, and he does have some fins all around. Well, uh, all over the, the, the top here. And th this fin here comes, comes separate in, in the pa package. When, when you first get, get, get him. But, but this does attach to this hole in the, this peg here. And the tail does have some more fins or spikes here. I, I'm I'm gonna like call these fins here, or or I think these are spikes. But it does have th this thing here on the tip, which is gonna be a mace weapon in ro robot mode. And that that's about it for for the Shardicon mode. Now, now for our, our articulation in in its Shardicon mode, the mouth, of course, can open and close and, and if you want you, you can also move move the the, the top part of the jaw, jaw here And you can also clearly see inside of his mouth where it is going to be his robot mode head, but but on the bottom you you, you can't really see see it because it because his face is hiding here the the arms can rotate all the way around bend at the elbows and his legs which are going to be the robot mode arms can rotate all the way around, move in and out, has a thigh swivel, an elbow, or, or a, a, a knee joint, which, which is going to be the elbow joint in ro ro robot mode. And the tail can rotate all the way around and move up and down on this joint here. And, and that 
that's it. Now, he, he does come with his gun here, which is going to be his ro ro robot mode gun, but, but you can store this in his Sharkicon mode. And the way you do it is this peg here is going to go into that hull right there. And you only get it on one side only. Not on the other side. So you can have it like, like that. But, but now to transform him, first I will have to remove his gun. You do want to come to the back and remove his tail from this peg and that hull and set this off to the side. You want to come to the top here and separate it. from this peg into that groove and then you want to take the Sharkicon head and this top piece and bring it all the way down so it looks like that and also these two little holes and well these two little holes goes into those two little pegs inside and those pegs here are going to are, are well th those two little gray pegs goes into these holes here So once you got this on tab, you now want to take his robot mode legs and and untap them and bring them up. So they look like that. And these two pegs here goes into these holes here on the bottom of his feet and on the bottom of his feet you do want to flip out these heels and then you want to take the back here and bring it up until it taps in and for what, what was his legs is now his robot mode arms. You do want to take these things, which are his hands, and flip them out. And rotate his arms down. Now you're going to take the, the, the Sharkicon head and also 
what what will become is robot mode chess and you want to rotate it all the way around so it looks like that rotate his legs down now you're going to take this entire piece here and bring it all the way down until it until this hull goes into that peg right there. Well, no, no, no. Well, but, but before you tap, but before you tap this hull into that peg right there. Y yes. Th th this peg is where this hole goes into for, for robot mode. Not, not, not th this peg. But, but before you tab this in, you, you do want to bring it all the way back, but you do want to bring down the, the lower jaw of the Sharkicon and then take his robot mode head and flip it up so it looks like that and now you can take the, the back part in and tab it all in And then you want to take his Sharkicon arms and bring them back. And you can have these however you want. You can either have them like this, or you can have them like this. H however you want to, to display these. But I like to have them like, like this. And you're done. And he, 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 he looks gray in robot mode. And I don't think I have no, no pr problems with it. I was just ch checking to, to make sure that I have everything like, lined up. But, but the robot mode does look really gr great. And like I said, I, I, I have no, no, no problems with it. And he still does have all of the, the, the same c color scheme but like he had in Sharkicon mode. With a little bit more of, of that yellowish green paint on here 
and also I'm not sure if y'all can see it very closely, but his eyes are painted. Oh. Yeah, his eyes are... Oh. There they are. You can see that his eyes are painted in in that same yellowish green paint there. And he does have a little spot of red paint along with some white on the top of the head. And there's like not not much else to it. He he just looks like how he does in the eighty six Transformers movie, and also in the car c cartoon. So for articulation, head is on a ball joint, but it's really, really snug on mine. It, it is on a ball joint, but it is really snug on mine. But it can look up and down only a little bit. J just due to the way his head is shaped. And his arms have the same articulation because these were once his his Sharkicon legs. So they have the same articulation. But his legs go forward, back. They only move out to about about there because of the way his bo body is shaped. But if you move them forward, they move out a lot better. But they do have a thigh swivel, knee joint, and he also has a wide ankle pivot. And that, that's it. And you can have him hold his gun. And 
you can have him hold his tail from Shardicon mode as a little mace weapon. Now, what, what you get with this and all of the other Studio Series figures is, well, for, first I will have to get him out of the way and bring back the box here because what you get inside this box is, if I open it up, and if you slide out this and open up these things, you have a little back, back, backdrop that, that all of the other Studio Series figures comes with. And you can have gnaw here the display right, right there. And th there you go. Anyway, so final thoughts that the, the, the Shardicon mode that does look great, but my only problem with it is is that you can see his robot mode feet peeking out on on both sides of his Sharktacon mode. And I wish that they would find something to, to, to cover up that. But, but the robot mode does look really gr great. And I have no issues with it in ro robot mode. So I think that that's about it. So there you have it. Transformers Studio Series 86 number 8 Nah. And if you like this video, give me a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And also, if you want to check out some other videos that you've missed, I did set up a playlist. So, so if there's any videos that you may have missed, I do have a playlist 
that I have set up. And I got it all organized. So, I, I think that that's about it. So, th thanks for watching.